In this video, I'll show you how to connect your PS2 via HDMI to your modern TV. Let's talk about it right now. This is the Kaiko HDMI adapter that you can use to play your PS2 games on modern televisions. Now, this adapter is very easy to use. In this video, I will show you how to connect the PS2 to this adapter and then in turn connect that to your modern TV, your HDMI television that has an HDMI input so you can play your PS2 on a modern television. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you right now how to do it. All the links to the products in this video will be in the description down below in case you want to buy them. It does help the channel out so check them out and also guys if you have any questions like I said leave your comments down below. Okay, so here we have the Kaiko HDMI adapter for the Sony PlayStation 2. I saw this online, I did a Google search because I wanted to kind of like see if I can play my PlayStation 2 games on a modern television because I've done videos in the past which you can find on my channel but I wanted to see if there was like another kind of affordable solution for that and that is where I found this Kaiko HDMI adapter for the PS2 so let's check it out guys. I'm going to open this and then I'm going to hook up my PS2. I have the slim PS2 down, uh, let me see, down there. So I'll hook that up and then uh, we'll see how it works and uh, you can, you know, see for yourself. And I'll uh, test a couple games here so you can take a look and uh, see what to expect. Let's put it to the test. So let's get this out of the box here. So I already opened it up here. And this is what you get. All right, so we have this stuff here, which, what is this? Uh, this here says, thank you for your purchase. Register your 12 months warranty inside. All right, cool, got that. It comes with the uh, HDMI adapter for Sony PlayStation 2, quick start guide. So that's what the cable looks like right there. Here is the actual Adapter Kaiko. That's the uh, I guess the top or the side, whatever you want to call it. Here has the HDMI input right there, or in this case, it would be output. So this is going to go out to the TV, and then this end is the end that plugs into the PlayStation 2. Let me see if this can focus real quick. Yeah. So this end again goes to the PS2. Okay, so this little switch right here that you see right there lets you select between component or RGB. And it also comes with a USB. So here's the USB. Cool. Let me get this out of here. All right, guys, so here is my PS2 Slim. I'm going to go ahead and connect the Kaiko adapter right here. So again, this is the, uh, you know, if you have a PS2, this is what you would normally connect it to, the cable that was included, but those don't work with modern HDTVs. So right here, you connect that to there, and this is what it looks like. And then now for the power, we will connect the adapter. Where is it? Right here. So we're gonna connect this adapter to the PlayStation 2. To get its power so let me see if I can do this here with uh, almost one hand where is it oh so it's right here so this is the power back here oh, I can never get this the first time all right so there it is connected then I'm gonna run this to the front of the PS2 and use a little life hack here so this is uh, instead of you know using this for something else I'm just gonna use it to power that ad adapter so I'm plugging in the adapter to the USB port in the front and that's gonna power the adapter. Cool! All right guys, so I have this set up now. So all I gotta do now is connect it to the television using HDMI. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Again, HDMI right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this might look a little weird. I don't know if you can see me in the camera, but I'm over here off to the side. My television has the HDMI back here. I'm gonna grab an HDMI cord that I have connected to the TV and connect it over here to this adapter, right? And then this adapter will send a signal from the PS2 to my TV. And we should be able to get it here, the input, and change that and then get the signal from 
the PS2. But before I forget, I'm gonna get the power cord for the PS2 so we can get some juice going on in there. So let me go ahead and do that for you. Nice people out there, by the way, if you guys like this video, if it makes it useful at all for you to play your PS2 games on modern televisions like this one, um, let me know in the comments down below if it worked for you. And also, please like the video. You know, that helps a lot because YouTube sees that and then they share my video to other people, other gamers that might find this useful. Okay, so here we have the adapter. I'm gonna plug it into the slim PlayStation 2. Now, I didn't test my uh, fat PS2 because I have it in storage and I don't really wanna get it right now, but I might make an update video to test that console, the fat original PS2. So if this video gets enough likes and views, I might you know, get that uh, fat PS2 out of the storage and uh, make a video about this, okay? so. First of all, I got the power here, so let's keep going. All right, so we got power here on the PS2. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me try to do the best I can here without making a huge mess. You see the light turned on here on the adapter, and that is because it's connected to the PS2, and the PS2 is getting power and giving power to the adapter to do its thing and uh, you know give, give us the signal. So let's go ahead, like I said, and connect that um, HDMI cord. So here I have the HDMI cord. I'm gonna plug it into the front here of the Kaiko adapter. It's plugged in right there as you can see. Now I'm gonna go to the side of my television where the HDMI ports are and I'm gonna plug this into HDMI 2. Now I'm gonna grab the PS2 controller, the DualShock 2, let me know guys in the comments below. When was the last time you played your PlayStation 2 and what game was it that you played last on the console? And also for bonus points, tell me what your favorite PlayStation 2 game is. All right, so I'm gonna plug this in to the uh, player number one down here. Okay, so right now I need to find on my television where the input is, so let's go to HDMI 2, which should be right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. Here is the screen. It's on. If it has any smudges, it's because th that's my kids touching the screen, and I, you know, I really hate that. I tell them, yo, don't touch the, the TV, but, you know, my three-year-old, basically, he doesn't really understand that. Anyways, here's the screen, and I have the uh, cable here connected, or I mean the controller connected. Let's, uh, I mean, we can go to system configuration if you want to, to look through the, I guess, um, display. Let's see, where is it? So let's keep here. Let's go to, that's uh, component video out is RGB. You can do component if you want. The component comes out in green, but if I switch here, it should, you know, make it better because I think right now I'm on RGB. So let's switch to component. And there you go. That's component. So. You can switch here, like I said, between component and RGB. And once you change the configuration here in the system, it'll uh, show you what you want. But let's go back to RGB in this case. Back to RGB on the adapter. And then here, let's change this back to RGB as well. And we're both on RGB now. All right, so anyways, this is just a menu. So let's get a game here. And uh, let's get God of War for the PlayStation 2. Let's test this out. Let's see how this game works here on the modern television using our handy dandy Kaiko adapter. Which, by the way, here it is again. Here's a box. All right, let's open the tray here. Put the game inside. That might be a little loud. Let me lower this real quick because. Might be a little loud. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the game's inside. Let's go to browser just because I had the, the thing open. So let's, reading disc. Okay, see how long this takes. Do I have a bad game disc? Oh no, there it is. We have a disc in there. So let's open it up and see what it is. Awesome. PlayStation 2 logo right there. 
I'm not sure again if you can see me because I'm, I'm off to the side, but whatever, the main thing that I want to show you is the television, so. Whoa. We got Kratos here looking at us menacingly. Let me uh, lower this real quick. But hey, that's a good sign though. It works with, uh, with a sound bar. I just had my sound bar in a different input for the TV, so it's working fine. So you can get audio out, and that is awesome. So it sounds crisp. There it is, right? Pretty cool. All right, so let's get out of the menu music here so we don't get a copyright strike. But uh, let's select New Game. Uh, let's make this easy right now just so that we can play the game a little bit, and then I'll show you the game here. Oh, let me lower, er, raise the volume a tad bit just so I can hear what's going on. God of War is a classic on PlayStation 2. Let me know, guys, if this is your favorite game on PS2. It is not mine, but it's one of the ones that I really did enjoy back in the day. All right, I, I forgot that. Sometimes you can't skip these cutscenes back in the day. There was no option to skip, but hey guys, it looks good so far, right? Like, you know, we're, we're playing on a modern television and I don't know if we can stretch that picture out. I'm, sh I'm not sure if we can do that. Maybe if we, if we go into the television's, uh, you know, settings here and change this for the TV itself. Let me see if I can do that while we wait for this thing to load. So let's, let me click on settings here, picture settings. And uh, this is just the color aspect ratio, zoom. Oh, look, look, you can hit zoom. Wide, panoramic, normal, zoom, wide. So wide is a little, you know, constrained in the vertical direction. So you can see like, you know, it's wider, but it also looks a little, he looks, you know, fatter, like a, a, a thicker Kratos. And then here we have panoramic, normal is the square. Zoom, zooms in a little bit more, but you lose that, that quality. So there's a little bit of pixelation. So let's just go back to, uh, I guess, normal and play like this for a little bit. I think I'm, I'm about to die. So how do I exit this menu real quick? Let's get out. All right. Oh no. So let's take care of these mobs real quick and then we'll try another game. All right, cool. Light attack, heavy attack. So this is just the first little round here, the first level, guys. So it's not like uh, we're just starting the game off right here from the beginning. So it's not like you're going to see a lot of action. Well, this is a lot of action right now, but you're not going to see like a lot of uh, crazy stuff. But this is just, again, testing the adapter. So, so far, so good. Need for Speed Underground 2. Here's the game loading. Checking memory card. I don't have a memory card inserted, so let's get out of here. If you wish to save data and serve a memory card with at least 125 kilobytes of free space, do you want to start? Yes. EA Games challenge everything. You guys remember that? THX game. I remember this like it was yesterday playing this game. However, I forgot the menu, I forgot the controls, I forgot how it plays. It's, it's been so long, I probably played in middle school, maybe? When did this game come out? I don't even remember. Uh, I don't even, I don't remember when this game came out, but it was not very recent. So let's go ahead and uh, exit out of here and try to get into a quick race to see the game. All right, press start button. Yeah, let's do a quick race, right? How about that? Circuit, sprint, drag. Let's do a circuit. Resort loop, outer ring, anything that has, uh, I guess we'll do the, let's do the, the outer ring. Yeah. And track direction forward, lap KO off, laps three, traffic level minimum, opponents three, difficulty medium. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's keep going. What car are we gonna use? A Ford, Corolla, Nissan, Mazda, Honda, 
Can't go wrong with Honda, right? You can't go wrong with Honda. Do they have a Ford Mustang here? Pretty sure they, sh they should have a Ford Mustang. Not sure if they have it here, though. Yeah, let's do auto. I don't want to deal with... Oh, no! Dang it! Is that the only... I already forgot, guys. Is that the only car I could get, like, at this little test stage? Oh, my goodness. I got a pretty crappy car. I should have just got that car that was there. The, uh, the one the game loaded with. Oh, man. I do not miss the loading screens, though. I do not miss that about the old school games. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1... Even PS3 games, PS4 games like Skyrim takes forever to load. Fallout 4 on PS4 took forever to load. All right, let's see how long this takes. I might skip the video. Oh, here we go. We got it. Paul Van Dyke, nothing but you. All right, so this is probably going to be a uh, you know copyright strike if it hears me, but <clears throat> if it hears my music. All right, so my car is you know handling pretty well. Let's keep going, baby. Let's keep going. Again, this is just a demo, guys, so I will skip this video after this. But uh, as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, it looks pretty decent on a modern television. Let me pause it real quick and let's make this the zoomed, or not the zoomed, but the stretched uh, view, the wide view. You can see the wide view here on the picture mode. And let's select aspect ratio as wide. Not sure if I like the wide though, but here, here's the wide. Let, let, let's let's see what it looks like with wide. All right, so resume race. So it doesn't look terrible, although that's a pretty flat looking car, vertically speaking. It's very very flat vertically speaking, but it's not bad at all, you know. Very responsive. There's no lag that I can sense oh no oh my goodness I forgot about that Did you guys see that how it loaded the next area the next bit of data and how it took like a little bit there like the road looked like it was it was like a broken road or whatever like a closed road and like I was gonna fall off the cliff but it was just a game loading I forgot about that in old games that's crazy how look at that look at that is that normal or is my disc kind of messed up? Let me know in the comments down below if you think that it is normal. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is Need for Speed Underground 2. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. This loading is really bad. I don't remember this being so bad. Did I like, did my mind like tune that out? That's crazy. Here is GTA Vice City on the PlayStation 2. One of my favorite games of all time, and one of my favorite games for sure. I think it is my favorite game here on the PS2, and I think a second close game would be Budokai Tenkaichi 2, the Dragon Ball Z game. I do have that game, so we can test that too, but uh, we'll see. Right now, let's test out this um, GTA Vice City game. I love GTA. I spent so many hours playing this game. The intro takes a little while, so... All right, so here it is. It's loading up, baby. It's almost there. We get that little bit right there. Now it's gonna load that whole intro scene. I'm not sure, I don't remember if we can skip it. Let's see if we can skip this. Marcos Bistro, Liberty City, 1986. A year, one year before I was born. All right, so they're talking crap in there. I just wanna to get to the gameplay so we can get a little bit of gameplay footage here. Vice Beach, outside Ken's office. Okay, so th this looks a little bit, maybe it's because it's the wide uh, aspect ratio, but you see a lot of pixelation there, you know, this is an older game. Doesn't look as good as the uh, Need for Speed game, but right here, uh, let's see what it looks like. There is a little bit of motion blur. Can we get rid of that? I don't think back then it let us do that, did they? Let's see. Brightness, we can, you know... Change that if we want. Oh look, widescreen on. Hmm, okay. You can change the screen position, but nothing really that we can change here except the brightness, which is fine. You know, we don't need to change that. So let's go back. How do I go back? Enter, I mean, start. <clears throat> All right, so let's get in this vehicle. 
Now, geez, I, I forgot like the, the analog stick. Like, is it that sensitive to look around that camera? Wow, let's get in the car before I go crazy with this camera. GTA 5 is like leaps and bounds years ahead of this, obviously. All right, so X is to drive, yep. So we have Michael Jackson here, so I don't want to get any copyright strikes, so let me lower that real quick. But yeah, it does have good sound. So, and there is no, no lag at all that I can tell as of right now. I just started the game and there is absolutely no lag. Look, let's do this jump real quick. This stunt right here. Oh, look, there was a stunt right here, actually, that I loved. It was jumping off of, where was it? On the right? Uh, yeah, right here, jumping. Jump in here. Oh no, that's not it. Oh, never mind. How do you, uh, oh, I'm changing. I don't even know how to play this anymore. That's not the ramp. A anyways, let's try this ramp then. I used to love uh, riding motorcycles in this video game. What a sense of freedom. I know there's a ramp somewhere here that I used to catch a lot of speed. Where is it? This is going to bother me forever. I mean, we got this right here, but... Woo! Oh, that's it. And if you fall in the water, you are dead. <laughs> All right, so the car is upside down. We have managed to get wasted in the first, not even three minutes of playing the video game. And that is how to connect a PS2 to a modern TV using HDMI. All you need is an HDMI cable, the Kaiko adapter, and it's straightforward, it's very easy, as you saw from the footage, it looks good, it's awesome, it's straightforward, nothing too complicated, so that's awesome to see. Now let me know in the comments down below if you have any other suggestions you want me to try, like a different adapter, or if you have any experience yourself trying this Kaiko adapter yourself, Leave your comments, any questions down below, and I'll try to get to them. And also, please like the video. Let me know, guys, if this helped you. And if it did, please, please share it with your friends and family. And let's play some PS2 games on modern TVs. Thank you guys for stopping by, as always. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Take care, and peace out.